Welcome back to our series on how to align your enlarger. Today we're looking at the Bessler MX2. The Bessler MX2 is a 4x5 enlarger. It can carry smaller negatives than that. This particular one has a condenser, but there are diffusion heads, cold light heads, modern LED heads, all sorts of things you can put on there. <clears throat> this model is meant to be able to tilt backwards for horizontal wall projection. Uh, we have three out of four points for enlarge, uh, alignment on this particular thing. That is, we can move the head, the negative stage, side to side and front to back, and we can move the lens stage side to side. There is no front to back available by uh, design. It's one of the few things where I feel some enlarger manufacturers are a little bit arrogant in their manufacturing in that they claim it's aligned at the factory and will never need to be aligned again. I find that is rarely ever true. So we're going to have to shim the lens board and I'll show you exactly where to do that. Let's start with the negative stage. For our negative stage side to side adjustment, there is a bolt on the back side of where the carriage uh, connects to the, um, the head. With a 9 16 inch wrench, loosen that bolt. Some may have a lock screw to keep it from rotating. And then you simply rotate the head side to side. Um, this little mechanism here will just prevent you from moving too far. So just move it very carefully to full alignment. Then tighten that down so it doesn't slip on you. And then tighten the bolt to keep it locked down. The front to back motion is controlled with this screw right here on the back. Um, it pushes the entire head front to back against this bar. There should be a small lock nut that is a 7 16 lock nut. Loosen that and then manipulate that bolt back and forth until you achieve alignment. Then holding it in place so it doesn't move on you, you'll want to tighten your lock nut back. There you go. So now the negative stage is aligned side to side and um, front to back. Let's move to the lens stage. The lens stage on this enlarger only has side to side motion and there's actually no lock on it. You simply twist it to the position that you want. Now, if it is not locked down in the zero position because it does have a large ball bearing right behind this plate that keeps it locked down. If it's um, in the zero position but it is not aligned, then you can take a screwdriver to both of these points here, loosen them up, and that moves the entire ball bearing assembly. So you can zero it out, uh, get it aligned, and then tighten these two back. And that will keep your uh, lens aligned side to side. So simply move it where it needs, needs to be and if it's not in the detent, loosen this up and move the detent. It's pretty simple. Front to back, however, you're going to have to uh, shim your lens board. So in this case, I need to move the lens this way. So I am going to put some gaffer's tape on the leading edge of my lens board, pushing this edge upward just slightly. So let me get some tape and do that. So just take a 
small piece of gaffer tape. Make sure it's where you can read your um, f stops easily as your front edge. And now reinsert it and check and see if that moved it enough. In this case, I need a little bit more. So we'll put a second piece of gaffer's tape. Now, the unfortunate part of this is I will have to do this to every lens board for this enlarger. All right, and there we go. So that actually corrected the front to back motion for the lens. And that is all for that particular model. And that's the Bessler MX2. So we can move the negative stage front to back, side to side. We can move the lens stage side to side. And then we shim the lens board for our front to back motion. It's fairly easy to do, would take you about 15, 20 minutes, maybe the first time you do it, it'll get a little faster as you continue uh, over the years. You should only have to do this with moderate to light use, maybe once a year, check it. Uh, with heavy use and a school environment, I would recommend at least the beginning or end of every semester. So they're robust machines, but they can get out of alignment since it's really just three screws that hold everything tight. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video in our series of how to align your enlarger.